Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Monte Carlo Masters Takeaways New Name Set for Title as Shocks Continue with Taylor Fritz and Holger Rune. We are approaching the business end of the 2023 Monte Carlo Masters, with some shock quarterfinal results, ensuring a new name on the trophy on Sunday night. We'll see four matches on court Rainier III, and select some key takeaways from the action. No hat trick for Steph as Burning Fritz ends Greek rule for the third straight time in the Principality. How wrong he was, there would be no future three-peat, nor potential Rafael Nadal-style monopoly of the tournament, since he instead suffered a crushing defeat, only his third ever MCCC, against an opponent who has previously shown very little clay court skill, in comparison. World number 10 Taylor Fritz, topped the ATP rankings last year, with some storming superb results on hard courts, but not known for making a difference on the dirt. The 25-year-old Californian never got past the third round at Roland Garros and has had little impact in Madrid and Rome. In contrast, Tsitsipas, who will fall to number 5 in the ATP rankings on Monday, after he failed to defend the trophy, has won four clay court titles and appeared in 10 surface finals, including Madrid, Rome and Roland Garros. Fritz's best result at this week's La Terrabachu was a quarter-final appearance at Monte Carlo last year, but he has now improved once again, after putting in a near-perfect performance, by beating second-seeded Tsitsipas with 6-2, 6-4 defeated and threatened the prospect of an 11th tour final, and his first on clay. Rublev and Struff's fairytale run, with first Masters title in sight for its opponent, in Saturday's first semi-final, will be Andrei Rublev, after Russian qualifier Jan Leonard Struff has surprisingly, made it into the last eight on the cusp of the best week of his career, having reached the same stage at the Cincinnati Masters three years ago, but was able to secure his win over number four seed Casper, not confirming Rude, when the underdog's winning streak suddenly went bust in Monte Carlo, Rublev was consistently the man with the better, 